I'll be freezing right now. Something hot, Jesus. It's so hot here. I'm sweating. I'm seeing mirages. What's wrong with you guys? The weather is great. I'm chilling right now. Hmm. How's it going guys? This is Mahdi Takash here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I do videos on tech, life experience stories, tips and tricks tutorials. Welcome and board. So how to nail the white balance in any place using the Sony ZV-E10 or any Sony APS-C camera to avoid some kind of weird skin tones and be able to have consistent shots. First, if you are shooting outside and not in a controlled environment, it's better to keep it on auto mode because you want to capture moments not thinking about tweaking stuff Plus, you will not have time to do that. However, if you are in a studio or in a controlled environment where the lights is less likely to be changed, it's better to create a custom white balance to this place and this lighting settings. Note that you can adjust the white balance manually by adjusting the temperature or you can use some of the camera presets. However, Sony ZV-E10 offers three custom settings this is where we are going to work. So how to set the perfect white balance? First, set your scene location and lighting settings. Get this gray card from Amazon for around 10, 15 bucks or euros. You will find it in the description below. Keep in mind that you can't adjust the white balance while you are recording. You see now that we can't change the white balance while we are recording. That's why we have to turn the record off. Then we can now go to the white balance menu. Put the gray card where the subject or the object will be, like here or here, in order to have the perfect white balance. Go to the white balance menu, go down to custom settings, press on set and put the white card where your face is existing or the subject you want to white balance it and then let the yellow card be in the middle of this uh, white balance card, then press set. Now we have the perfect white balance. Then press again set. We have it. You see, it's here. It's done. It's pretty easy. No need to do anything else or more fancy. Ten dollars. This is the white balance on auto mode, and then I will show you the white balance after I set it with the gray card. This is the white balance that I have adjusted manually at. 4800k now you have the best white balance in less than a minute and you have already saved it in a custom menu so you can use it later in this location in the same lighting settings unless you change something in lights or location for the surrounding environment so guys that's all for today go and check other videos about zve10 on my channel don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content comment below if you have any question or maybe i missed something don't choose wrong see you in the next video Peace.